pain, anguish, desperation rent the air as smoke billows into the sky. The angel of death has visited another family. Yet, this has become the norm in many villages in Gusi land, western Kenya. In actual fact, whenever this happens, the villagers dismiss it as just another witch burning. The burning of witches in Kisi could be part of a larger problem. And this could be a camouflage. You are trying to cover up a crime under the guise of calling somebody as being engaged in witchcraft or calling her a witch. But at the end of the day, what you wanted to do is to eliminate that person because of underlying reasons. And one of the underlying reasons in Kisi is lad ownership. The attackers are said to be well organized, acting on behalf of the victim's relatives or other interested parties. Children are also said to eliminate their parents in the guise of witchcraft, while in essence they are after inheriting their pieces of land. You can even have differences with your own child, a male child especially. They feel that if I chase this girl from home or if I kill my mother, I'll be able to own this property. The Coalition on Violence Against Women traversed Kisi County with the aim of unearthing the truth about the burning of witches in relation to women's rights violations. So Koval is concerned about bringing it out as a human rights violation, getting uh, the women who experience such violence or their, their families that are left behind to be able to access and obtain justice the silence on any form of killing of women contributes to the continued perpetration of that practice. Article 40 of the Kenya Constitution guarantees every person has the right, either individually or in association with others, to acquire and own property of any description and in any part of Kenya. The Constitution also guarantees all citizens the right to life, yet the murders in Kisi County continue unabated. The main reason for existence of this kind of violence is lack of awareness and superstitious beliefs. There is an issue to that because most of our women and girls, they don't know that they have that right to own, that pro to own property or even to claim a share from their parents or uh, their husbands. As their house went up in flames, this boy, his father and mother were deep in their sleep. His father was consumed by the fire, but the boy and mother escaped with serious burns. The scars on his limbs have become a permanent reminder of the day death visited his family. The psychological trauma is evident in his small, innocent voice. Mm -mm. I was told my father was drunk when he came home. I was asleep when the fire started. The mattress caught fire and my father was burnt beyond recognition. But I was rescued. At school I normally put on my cap, but my teachers don't question me for that. <laughs> Seeing the fire, my brother Jonas ran to save my son and found he had burnt and was crying. My husband was still inside and their neighbors tried to pull him out but all in vain. He was burnt beyond recognition. My child was seriously burnt and was rushed to Kisi General Level 5 Hospital. Nyaboke Nyakirario cheated death narrowly when a mob of young men baying for her blood accosted her. She owes her life to the police who rescued her from the jaws of death. Yes, I saw you go in the place. They beat me up, but God helped me. The police tried to fire tear gas, but it was impossible. The crowd told one of them to cover up his face with a scarf so that he can cut off my head. That is when the police loaded their firearms with bullets and fired up in the air, making the crowd escape. How 
though the law enforcement agents and the Kenyan society as a whole have allowed these senseless killings and violations of such fundamental human rights of innocent women to continue with impunity is simply shocking. This is a time to act. Thank you.